Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Sunday, January 12th, 2020. <laughs> Hope everyone has had a good weekend so far. Or if you're watching this on a different day, I hope you're having a good day. So I wanted to come on today to talk about a couple of things. I have, I think, the rest of my chocolate swaps. So I'm gonna, I wanna open those up today. Um, and just a few other things. I got some happy mail and uh, we want, I wanna talk about a charity project that I wanna start and wanted to get your input on it. So, okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna give a shout out to Carissa and she is one of the employees at the local Joanne Fabrics for me here. And um, she's always really, really helpful. And she said she and her daughter are learning how to crochet. So, hey, hi, Carissa. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is Australia. So many of you guys have seen other people here on YouTube talk about the fires in Australia. Um, I've received several emails from Karen Wright, who is who lives in Australia, and she comments on a lot of uh, YouTubers' videos. Um, she's telling me that, of course, uh, you know they need a lot of help there in Australia. Um, but what I wanted to do is, we also have another great YouTuber here. Um, her name is Leah, and her channel name is Leah's Handmade Crafts. And she lives in Australia too. And she actually did an entire video on how you guys can help Australia. So what I'm gonna do is instead of telling you about it, I'm gonna link Leah's video um, down in the description box below. And if you guys want to help Australia, she's got links and information and all of that stuff in there. So hopefully you guys can um, take a look at that. All right, so the next thing I wanna talk about is we have a local organization here called WINGS, W-I-N-G-S, and it is, um, actually, I'm gonna pull up the website right here. It is, um, it's an organization that helps to break the cycle of domestic violence. So I have been in contact with them because I feel like we need to do something um, for the for the better greater good of everybody and i think that what we can do um, i've asked her um, what we can donate um, this is an organization to help women and children and i've received a couple emails back and forth from her but i just want to verify a few things but she did say that they could use washcloths dishcloths and hats so what I want to do is I want to start a campaign here on my channel for donating washcloths, dishcloths, and hats. Now, I don't know, I'm going to find out for sure if they need hats for the kids or if they just need hats for women. Um, she also mentioned fingerless gloves, but those are a little bit trickier. So I want to make it easy for everyone to donate. And quite frankly, if you don't want to send anything to me so that I can donate to Wings, go ahead and find a local uh, women's shelter in your area and see what they need and donate to them. So in the next video that I um, post, I will give you guys full details. And what I want to do is I want to keep track of who sends me stuff and then maybe do a giveaway after every month, do a random number picker and do a giveaway of maybe some cotton yarn because that's really for the washcloths and the dishcloths. Um, that's really what they need uh, to be made out of is cotton yarn. So let me know what you guys think in the description box, um, not in the description box, in the comment box down below. If you would be interested in helping me um, do this for charity, I would really appreciate it. And we'll figure out the next video, we'll have full details on it. Okay, so now I got some happy mail and I have chocolate boxes. So um, I am going to, let's see here, happy mail. <laughs> this is a big box of happy mail. And then I have, I think like five or six boxes of chocolate. So I'm gonna open everything up and then I'll be right back. Okay, hang on. All right guys, you ready for happy mail? <laughs> This is so exciting. By the way, you guys don't ever have to send me happy new mail, but it's so fun to get it. <gasps> okay, so I have a card here, and it is a holiday card. Oh, joy, love, and peace. 
And this is from Melissa Long. Uh, she says she's my fan. Well, I'm a fan of you guys too. Thank you so much, Melissa, for thinking about me and sending me the card. I really appreciate it. Okay, then I got this package from Mrs. Terilyn Dulu, and I believe she has a channel here on YouTube. So let's see what we have in here. We have a card that says Happy Holidays. And let's see what it says. Oh, it's so cute. Adorable. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's a really long letter. Happy holidays. Hello to carrots. Oh, and she says it is from all her guinea pigs, her hubby, the rescue dog. <laughs> um, I think she has a YouTube channel. She is on Instagram. I follow her there at uh, Tara Lynn Dulo, and I will put her information in the description box below. Um, if she's got the YouTube channel, I'll put that down there and I'll put her Instagram information too. So she sent me some candy canes. Thank you so much. Carrots will enjoy that. Oh, and then there's something in a little goodie bag here. And, oh, is this like a soap sack? So pretty. I'm sorry, guys. I'll show you. <laughs> oh, and look at the ribbon. You guys, the ribbon is the Christmas lights. Oh my gosh, how cute. Okay, let me see what's in here. That's adorable. All right. Oh my goodness, there's stitch markers, you guys. Hang on a second. So speaking of stitch markers, did you guys see yesterday Creative Grandma? Um, yesterday or the day before, um, I had sent her some stitch markers and she put it on her channel. It was so cool. All right, so, oh, these are really cool. This is Handmade with Love. Oh my God, these are beautiful. <gasps> and they're my favorite color. They're like little tassels. Oh my gosh, I love them. Here are some more. Oh, okay, hold on. You guys, you have to see these. Um, there's a tassel. Actually, there's quite a few tassels. They're just in different colors. Purple. Love it. This one's even better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, green. Oh, and this one has like little bells on it, you guys. God, these are so cute. Daryllyn, thank you so much. I could have one of these on like every project. I have enough <laughs> projects going on. That one has a little snowflake on it. Oh my gosh, these are adorable. And then check out this one, you guys. If you could see it there. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh my gosh, Tara Lynn, thank you so, so much for sending me those stitch markers. And I can keep them in here when I'm not using them. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, go check her out, okay? <laughs> All right, this big bag right here, sorry for the noise, is from a good friend and subscriber here on YouTube. Her name is Linda, Linda S. It's sparkly, so grateful for your friendship. Oh, Linda, you are so sweet. She says, Dear Rose, hope all is well with you, carrots and camo. Saw this pretty cake yarn and thought it would make a lovely virus meets granny shawl because <laughs> I love making those. Hope there's enough to make one. Be well and happy 2020. Oh, Linda, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorite colorways with this uh, Premier Anti-Pilling DK Colors. I actually made a Virus Meets Granny with this and I think it only takes two. The color is called Teacup and she sent me three of these. This will be enough to make a Virus Meets Granny. Thank you so much. So there's Hold on, and there's more yarn in here, you guys. Oh, I love it. All right, so I got three of these DK colors. I love this colorway. Thank you so much, Linda. And then, now I have some of these. I've given away quite a few and I haven't used them yet. But this is Hobby Lobby Yarn Bee Lux Lollies. And the color is Custard Comfort. And she sent me two. My goodness, I'm thinking that would be enough. Thank you so much, Linda. I am gonna try and make a shawl out of those. Maybe I'll make two virus meets granny shawls. All right, let's get to the chocolate, all right, guys? This is what we came for. Well, it's what I came for. <laughs> all right, so this first one is from uh, you guys 
probably don't know what her real name is unless you watch her channel, but her name is uh, Mimi and her channel is called Cozy Fox Studios. And she was one of my exchange partners for the chocolate swap. So we're gonna see what's in the bag. Okay, there's lots of little things wrapped, you guys. This is so exciting. <laughs> okay, so she says, hooray. Oh my gosh, it looks like it's a handmade card too. Look at the chocolate. Um, and it says, enjoy your Mimi's original mug rug made by Mimi 2019. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, hi, Rose. Hope you love everything. The blue and silver chocolate box, which is this. Uh, a recipe made by the owner of Condrell's, a neighborhood staple since I was a kid. The other candy is a local favorite and my... Um, uncle says it's the best. This was so much fun. Happy holidays, your fiber friend Mimi from the Cozy Fox Studio. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so this is Buffalo Snowballs, you guys. <laughs> I cannot wait to try those. Yum! Okay, so I'm gonna open up these like, oh, there's all these like little packages, so hang on a second. Guys, I got yarn and chocolate. Could this day get any better? <laughs> Okay, you know, I put yarn in my chocolate boxes that I sent out just as space filler so the chocolate wouldn't get damaged. So obviously everyone's doing that too. So she sent me a Lion Brand Ferris wheel. Then she sent me a Roll With It Tweed. <laughs> you guys, I had three of these and I just put them in a giveaway on my Instagram. So <laughs> this is awesome because now I have one I can work with. Um, so thank you so much for that. And then she sent me an ice yarn. Ooh, this is funky. Like this would be perfect on like a black hat or a white hat and use it as trim. Um, this is called Safari. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay, now this is the mug rug that she was talking about. And this is uh, one of Mimi's original mug rugs, Hanukkah 2019. You guys, this is so, this is so adorable look at that little snowman with stars and look at the puffs to make it look like snow and then this is where you put your co your coffee cup or your tea cup i don't do coffee you guys i drink tea but this is perfect how adorable is that oh my gosh mimi thank you so much for that okay this is called hanukkah place keepers <gasps> Oh my goodness okay you guys I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see her her card her information there is her information and I am gonna link her channel in the description box below and she sent me three stitch markers that are all Hanukkah themed look at there's a dreidel and a star of David and a menorah oh my god these are beautiful <gasps> Mimi thank you so much Oh my gosh, I'm gonna use those all year, not just at Hanukkah, because Hanukkah is only eight days. <laughs> okay, then you guys check this out. This is like little tiny balls of yarn, and they actually have her label on them. Cozy Fox Studios. This is so cute, these like little mini bonbons. Oh my gosh, Mimi, thank you so much. I'm gonna make like a square out of these or something. Or I can make a mug rug. Okay, then we've got sponge candy milk chocolate from Tops. Oh, you guys, look at that. Holy mackerel. Milk chocolate. Oh, that's all I needed to hear was milk chocolate. <laughs> okay, all right, so this looks delicious. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Mimi. Okay, you guys ready for the next one? <laughs> All right, so this one is from Claire, and she is from Scotland. You guys, I'm gonna have chocolate from Scotland. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, she put some yarn in here too. <laughs> oh, lots of yarn. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Hang on. All right, so we have a card, rose and carrots and it is a holiday card well, how beautiful and let's see if she says anything specific about the chocolate 
She says, I hope this box arrived in one piece. I struggled to get a box. They were either way too big or too small. <laughs> hope you enjoy these goodies as much as I do. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your swap. No, Claire, thank you for being a part of our swap. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, so let's, oh, paint box yarns. Okay, I've used these before. This is really cool. I got three of these paint box yarns. Lindor chocolates, the truffles. You guys had these, they're so good. <laughs> okay, this one is called Thornton's Continental Limited Edition. Wow, zah, oh my goodness. Okay, and it says this is an assortment of milk, dark, and white chocolates. Yes, please, and thank you. <laughs> thank you so, so much, Claire, for doing the swap with me. I really appreciate it. I cannot wait to try that. Okay, this next one, you guys, uh, you guys should know who she is. If you don't, you need to go check her out. I'm gonna link her channel in the description box below. Her name is Jackie, and her channel is called Hooking in Good Company, and she is uh, hilarious, and I can't wait to meet her. She is actually coming here in February, so I get to meet her. Hey, Jackie. All right, so let me get this out of the box. I've got a letter here, guys. Dear Rose, here is your box of delicious Dutch chocolate. Things to know, there is one box of original cocoa in a cardboard box. It looks old, but it's right off the ice skating and Christmas shelf. <laughs> Let me see if I can figure out which one she's talking about. I don't know, they all look like they're pretty good. They don't look like there's anything that looks like it's old. Um, this is the original Dutch chocolate cocoa, and it's the one that's in all households, including mine. I guess the figure that it's not worth putting it in a tin. Uh, it should go in a tin if you don't use it in one winter. About the chocolate letters. Okay, so here are the chocolate letters. Uh, a very Dutch thing for their version of St. Nick. A long story if you wanna Google it, but the C's were gone. It was December 5th, so I got a J for carrots because it's for me and Jan. <laughs> so this is for carrots and this is for me. It's okay, I totally understand. <laughs> About the box of curly flakes. Oh yes. This is a topping for bread and butter. It's a breakfast food. <laughs> You take like rye bread or white if you use or any good sandwich bread and you smear sweet butter for glue, pour on the flakes and eat, it's delicious. Yeah, okay, like I'm gonna be trying that when we get off the video here. <laughs> Make sure you don't throw your purple ode to safety eyes as it's wrapped in Amazon paper. Okay, so these little things Jackie was making um, because she had all these safety eyes and she wanted to use them and she hung two stitch markers for me. She hung a heart, sweet, and a little sun. Oh my gosh, so cute. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jackie. It was a pleasure to buy this stuff. Great idea for people like us. Decadent with purpose. We'll see you in February. Enjoy. And she says, uh, love Jackie and regards from Jan who helped me get the most proper and typical Dutch things. I think one bar is Belgium, but they are good neighbors and it's a new product that everyone is trying. <laughs> okay, so you guys saw the flakes. Yes. And you saw the two letters. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, here is Blooker chocolate. Oh my gosh. Yes, thank you so Oh, hot cocoa. Look at that. She's got it in the mug. Yes, I love hot cocoa. Okay, now here's a couple other things, you guys. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Hands off my chocolate. Crispy cookie. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at it going in his mouth. Oh, delicious Belgian quality. Crispy cookie caramel and sea salt milk chocolate. Oh. Okay, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is Tony's Chocolonely. Chocolonely. <laughs> it's huge. This is like a huge chocolate bar. Pure, okay, and it's in another language, so I can't read it, but it just says, the first thing it says is pure chocolate. I'm good with that. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Wow. Okay, and then here is another one, and it's called Chocolate Pastillas. Dark chocolate. 
Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to taste these. Jackie, thank you so much. She also included a project bag for me. How gorgeous is this? Holland, Amsterdam. Look at how pretty this bag is. Jackie, I feel bad now I didn't get you a bag. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, ready for the next one? Okay, this one is from one of my subscribers. Her name is Deanna, and uh, she does swap with me too, obviously, and let me get these out of the box. Guys, <laughs> look at that. Isn't that adorable? It's a little snowman bag. She put that in the box, and she gave me a card. So sweet, thank you so much. And she just says, thank you for the opportunity to swap chocolates. I hope you enjoy the selection from Deanna. Of course, I'm gonna enjoy it. May the Lord bless you and your family this holiday season. Oh, thank you so, so much. I am so excited to see what's in here. Okay, oh, she sent me something. Oh, it's an ornament. Did you make this? Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Look at that. Oh my gosh, Deanna, did you make that? It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, oh my gosh, there's all kinds of chocolates in here. <laughs> all right, so this is from Dinstall's, and this is in Memphis, Tennessee. So some of these are from this particular shop. And let's see here, we have <laughs> a chocolate guitar. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat that. And then, oh, that's cool. It's the shape of the state of Tennessee. Nice. And then this is a milk chocolate bar. And it says a taste of Memphis. Oh yeah, look at that. 72% dark chocolate. Also from the same company. And then here is a box of chocolates in here. Hang on. Okay, the box got a little bit wonky, but it's like a box of yummy chocolates in there. Mm, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it. This is so exciting. Okay, guys, two more. <laughs> All right, you guys probably know this lady too. Her name is Donna, and her channel is called Sunshine LeClaire, and I will link her in the description box below as well. So let's see what we've got in here. Check this out, you guys. Look at how sweet this little polar bear is. It's a sparkly card. Did you make this, Donna? It's beautiful. Thanks for including me in your chocolate swap. I've come to see you as a dear yarn sister. I hope you and Carrots have a blissful holiday. Thank you so much, Donna. Oh my gosh, the card is beautiful. She sent me a pin. This is one of her famous pins. I'm gonna put that on my bag that I've got all my other pins on, thank you. She sent me some yarn as a filler for, for the chocolate. So she sent me some Cotton Fair by Premier. And then she sent me OMG. Oh, you guys see that? Do you see the sparkle? Wow! Holy mackerel! What is this and does it come in purple? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, Bumbo Moonlight. I think I've ordered this from Ho um, Hobby before. Thank you so much. Okay, now for the good stuff. <laughs> Look at this. It's in a bag and the bag is purple. So you know I'm gonna have to reuse this bag. Purdy's Chocolatier. Okay, let's see what's in the bag. We got a box of probably assorted chocolates. Yum! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Green Blacks Organic. This is hazelnut and currant organic dark chocolate with chopped roasted hazelnuts and currants. Oh, what? Yes. Oh, double chocolate, hot chocolate, double trouble, double trouble, <laughs> double trouble, double truffle hot chocolate. Yum. That cannot be, this is just one serving. Oh, yes, that's going to be good. Okay, Purdy's Mint Melty. Wow, duh, this whole thing is a mint melt away? Yes. Okay, this is going to be next after I try a couple of these other things. All right, this is called a Nutty Mac White. 
macadamias, caramel, and white chocolate. And there's two of them in there. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's another hot chocolate. White hot chocolate with the polar bear and the Christmas lights. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. And then we have hedgehogs. Milk, chocolate, hazelnut, something. It's probably like a... Uh, I don't know, we call them turtles here. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try these. Oh my gosh, you guys, scratch and sniff stickers and they're chocolate. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are awesome. Chocolate scented, two sticker sheets in here. And it says, do not eat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, Donna, thank you so much. This is like yum in a bag. One more box. And this one is from Colleen, and she was one of, uh, she doesn't have a YouTube channel, but she's uh, one of my swap partners. So let's see what we got in here. Check that out, you guys. Purple on top. Oh, I love you, Colleen. <laughs> now, how clever is this? She put a box in a box, and it's purple, and it's one of these photo boxes that I can reuse. How clever is that? Thank you so much, Colleen. Here's the card, a beautiful Hanukkah card. Thank you so much. And it says, please feel free to share on video. The candy is from the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory and the Sierra Nevada Chocolate in Reno, Nevada. So this, you guys, is a box of chocolates from the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. And there is the card. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. I don't know where to start. <laughs> okay, and then from the Sierra Nevada Chocolate Company, there's the flyer. Oh, let's see here if you guys want. Oh wait, here's a business card. Hold on guys. There's that, and then she sent, this is so cool. I don't almost don't wanna eat this. Look at that, sorry about the glare. Reno, that is so cool. So now I have a Reno like thing and I have a guitar from Tennessee. <gasps> you guys, look at these truffles. Can you even see the glitter on that? Oh my gosh. I'd like to say I don't wanna eat them, but I do and I will. <laughs> All right, purple gift. I included a little extra gift for you from Jimmy Bean's Wool since I only live four miles from there. Enjoy, thank you for everything you do. I really hope you like these gifts. I had so much fun shopping for you. Heck yeah! Oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys, little purple gift is not so little, okay? <gasps> Seriously. You guys, Malabrigo yarn. Malabrigo. Can you see that? Hold on, there's another one in here. Oh my God, these are so beautiful. They're so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, and they're so soft. I am so jealous you have a Jimmy Beans by you. And how perfect are those together? <gasps> wow, I only have one other thing of Malabrigo yarn, and you know who gave it to me? Z from Zelda NRJ3. And I still haven't used it because I'm afraid to. <laughs> it's a big hank of yarn too. Okay, and then there are some pins. Oh, this is so exciting. Hold on, guys. Oh, yay! Happy hooker. Oh, how cool is this? Crochet is my cardio. Well, I wish it was my only cardio, but I do run. Um, I don't like it, but I do it. And then Jimmy Beans, check that out. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you so, so much for everything. I love the chocolates, I love the yarn, I love the Happy Mail, I love everything. I'm so excited. So just as a reminder, if you've stuck around this long, um, we are gonna try and start the charity crochet um, and I will get more information together in my next video, which will hopefully be, I don't know, sometime this week. So I want you guys to have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.